Hey everyone, this is Anna and thanks so much for visiting my channel. Tonight I thought I would do another um, video for the Sharing My Completed Card Stash um, series. I've already completed the Valentine theme, the Easter and Spring theme, the Chickens theme, the Masculine theme, and now tonight I thought I would work on the Thank You and Miss You cards. Um, so these are cards that I have completed over the years. Um, that I still have and I haven't mailed out to anybody just yet. Um, I did share a how I store my completed cards um, video a while ago, I guess earlier this month, and there was interest to see all the cards that I had in each of the categories, and so that's what this video series is all about. So tonight we'll go ahead and do the uh, thank you cards and miss you cards, and I'm going to start with the uh, miss you. There's uh, fewer of those, so we'll just go ahead and get started. So this is a card I made quite a long time ago, um, and I think these owls are from Rosie's Roadshow, maybe. Um, and although it doesn't say Miss You, uh, I think it would make for a cute little Miss You card. Uh, here's one I made with images from uh, Memory Box. Uh, the fox is from Memory Box. The little hill he's standing on is also from Memory Box. And this sentiment here, one must have a little, one must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower, um, is a Whippersnapper Designs cling mount uh, sentiment, and I really like the cheery green on that. Um, also, the flower that he's holding is, uh, I think, is one I just drew right in there. So, um, let's see. Here's one here that's also from uh, Memory Box. Let's catch up and one of the little penguins that they were so famous for long ago. Here's one made with images from High Hopes uh, rubber stamps, and um, I love this little fisherman guy and his little dog. And then Let's Catch Up, um, I think is also from uh, Memory Box. And here he is colored in green and turquoise. So a really cute stamp. Uh, again, this is from High Hopes rubber stamps. Here's one I made with images from Picket Fence um, Studios stamps, and I was on their design team for about a year, and this is one of the cards I made during that time. I used one of their stencils in the background, um, and I just really love this uh, succulent stamp set that they had. I think it was right about Mother's Day that they put it out. It's very pretty. I did some um, embossing there at the bottom using my scoreboard. It's just a nice little fun detail to add. Um, here's one I made with images from um, Amuse. The, roads, the road to a friend's house is never long. And here is one made with an image from uh, Whippersnapper Designs. A little kitty with a bird on his tail. This image is uh, stamped on some watercolor paper, some uh, Fabriano watercolor paper, and then it's uh, watercolored with reinkers. Here's a card made with uh, images from the cat's pajamas. Wishing you weren't so far away. Really fun. I love that little bunny. He's piled up in all that snow. Uh, here's one I made with images from uh, Rosie's Roadshow. And the little duck sitting there uh, with the umbrella packing his suitcase waiting for someone. <laughs> Rosie's Roadshow images are all separate um, and so you can always create scenes with whatever the images you have are. So the umbrella is a separate image from the duck which is a separate image from the suitcase. And so I just did some masking and created this little scene. That's why Rosie's images are so fun. Um, she has unique little critters and um, outfits and accessories, and it's just fun to create your own little scene. Um, and then this is a card I made using a sentiment from Whippersnapper Designs. And I'm not sure what else, just some watercolor um, sample. In the background, I was just uh, testing some watercolors and. That's what it turned out like, so I just added some brown in between, and I think it turned out really lovely. And then this little acetate butterfly here, I think it's from Maya Road. And then that's some seam binding that I um, dyed after I had um, 
um, watercolored the background here. I just used the extra ink that I had on my surface there to, to uh, dye the same binding. And I think it turned out really pretty. It's really pretty colors. So I love that card. Um, so that's it for the Miss You category. Now we'll move into the Thank You category. Here's a card I made with images from uh, Picket Fence Studio. I love those little bunnies. And they are stamped on uh, watercolor paper and watercolored with Daniel Smith um, watercolor paints. Really cute. Uh, here's a card I made with images from Impression Obsession. I love the bright purples in that one. Um, here's one I made a long time ago with this little thanks a latte dude. Um, I think this might be a all night media stamp maybe. And uh, so he's pretty fun. Um, here's one I made with uh, images from Rosie's Roadshow. Uh, just to thank somebody for a fun day at the beach. And here's another one made with images from Rosie's Roadshow. And the sentiment on this one is from uh, Whippersnapper Designs in the Cling Mount set. And there's lots and lots of glitter on this one. And I love this um, Cosmo Cricut paper. And I went crazy with the faux stitching wheel. <laughs> um, here's another one with images from, I think, um, Memory Box maybe. It's either Memory Box or Amuse, the little lamb. And then I just hand wrote thank you on there. That's a lot of sheep. Uh, here's one that I made with an image from, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the moose company. I can't think of it right now. Um, all their images were different moose uh, in the various scenes and settings. I can't remember his name. Um, thanks, I needed that as a sentiment from a Whippersnapper Designs Cling Mount set. That's bugging me. I can't remember the name of the Moose Company. They're still making stamps, too. Uh, Riley? Riley? Riley and Company? I think that's what it is. Uh, here's one I made with images from High Hopes Rubber Stamps, and then a sentiment from Whippersnapper Designs. And I just love that little bee sitting on the flower, and she has some serious glitter on her wings. So really cute. And that background then is watercolored. Uh, here's a card I made with uh, an image from Whipper, or um, an image from High Hopes, and then a sentiment from Whippersnapper Designs. And again, that Cosmo Cricut paper. I just love that um, paper. I really miss uh, Cosmo Cricut papers, and I also really miss October Afternoon papers. I know they're the designer of the series that I like so much. Um, he still does designs. Um, Steve Duncan, I think is his name. Um, but I really miss October Afternoon Paper. And then here's the thank you card I made with images from Impression Obsession. These are stamped on watercolor paper and then watercolored. Uh, very loosely, since the color, I let it flow outside the lines of the designs. Um, here's one I made with a sentiment from uh, Stampin' Up! And then dies from Impression Obsession. I like that card. Um, here's another one I made with um, that succulent set from... Oh, actually, this is from um, Impression Obsession. These images are from Impression Obsession because they come with the like, dies in this cute little jar. Um, and then I made this little cute uh, thank you tag. So this is a succulent set from Impression Obsession. Um, here's one from Picket Fence Studio, this little mama fox and baby. Thank you for always being there. So that's uh, from um, Picket Fence Studio. I love the little felt hearts. Here's one from Impression Obsession. I love this image too. Um, so there's a sweater cover a card stamped on the background here. Um, of course, the kitty with the mouse. The sentiment is from Impression Obsession. And then I used a um, Doris embossing folder that has the little paw prints. I love that. I think this card is super cute. 
Then I made this one using an image from, oh my gosh, um, Stamps by Judith. <laughs> the dog is from Stamps by Judith, um, and the thank you is uh, from Stampin' Up, I think. Just one that I pulled out of a random set. So, I had to go track that down. It was bugging me. <laughs> um, here's a really simple thank you card made with dye. A thank you dye from Impression Obsession. And this is really super glittery. Red glitter and white glitter. There's this card made with a whippersnapper designs, a sentiment, and a couple of chipboard butterflies, and a really pretty little border punch here. And lots and lots of glitter. one turned out really pretty and this one as well was made with uh, images and a, st a sentiment stamp from impression obsession and that was uh, stamped on craft paper and then colored with uh, alcohol markers and then ink added to the outside edges for a little bit of depth it's a pretty easy card to make and then I have a couple things here for teachers um, Here's this little coffee cup I made with a stamp and die set from um, Stephanie Bernard's stamps. And then this one is made uh, with, in, with the coffee cup from uh, Picket Fence Studio. And this is a uh, little envelope, empty envelope that you can use to like put a gift card in or something like that. And then I have this um, thank you card for a teacher. This is made from uh, images from Picket Fence Studio as well. And then the last one I have for teachers is this one here made uh, with the image from High Hopes. Isn't she cute? And she's stamped on cotton paper and uh, watercolored with reinkers. Look at her little glimmery wings. So, and that's it for the Miss You and Thank You cards. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will be putting together another category soon. Um, I might look at doing the birthday cards um, or maybe get into some floral and gardening cards. Um, those I think would be fun. So um, again, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you found something inspiring here. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.